Today we're going to talk about ceramides in your skincare routine. Hi there, I'm Manuela Marcajani from Eisenmer Skincare. I'm a cosmetic chemist, over 30 years experience with skin, skincare formulating, skincare ingredients, and how we age and change, and all the everything in between. So today we want to talk about ceramides and what role they play. We hear a lot about ceramides, so let's break ceramides down. It's like a ceramide 101. And why is it so important? Well, a ceramide is a sphingolipid. What does that mean? Ceramide is technically like a fat sphingolipid um, and I always think about the sphinx in Egypt when I talk about ceramides I don't really know why I think it's because it's also a protector of the skin so when you're looking at your skin think of your skin like a brick wall you have the bricks and then you have the mortar the cement holding those bricks together that is the function of a ceramide so you have your cells and you have the ceramides. So when you have multi-layer skin, which was what we have, ceramides are important because not only are they the mortar that hold the cells together, the skin cells together, they also help with what we call cellular organization. So think about a layer cake without any filling. It would just be a cake on cake on cake. It wouldn't have any volume. It wouldn't have any cushion. It's what is in between. So the ceramides go in between, create cellular organization, and the ceramides hold things together. Why is this important? This is important because ceramides also have a role as a sphingolipid. Lipid means fat. This fat also will seal in moisture, reduce transepidermal water loss. So if your skin is like a filter and water wants to evaporate through, when you have ceramides there, ceramides are going to delay either prevent or delay the dehydration and the dryness. When you have dry skin, especially when you have flaky skin, big huge sign, ding, 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 your ceramides are compromised, okay? So you need more ceramides, something's going on. Also, if you overwash your skin and you play with the pH of your skin, your skin's pH is out of balance, your skin doesn't make ceramides as well as it should. So ceramides should be naturally occurring in your skin. Ceramides should be plentiful in a perfect world. But what happens is sometimes with over cleansing or over processing your skin, too many actives on your skin, too much moisture, so things with a lot of water and so there's no balance, can actually break down the ceramides as well. So this is why skin that is flaky, red, sensitive, usually benefits hugely and is directed to a ceramide product right away. It's almost like as soon as you have redness, as soon as you have sensitivity, as soon as you have dry patches, it's like go to a ceramide. The ser this is what's missing because your skin is too open. It's almost like it's leaking. It's too open. It, it, it needs the glue that's going to help protect it. And it's going to need that cushion of protection. So a ceramide is very important. A ceramide in your skin care, you should, you should be able to use a ceramide at any time you need it. So it's not something that you're going to use only if you're old or only if you're dry or only... Your skin will be changing. Sometimes your skin's going to need it. I find that even though I have oily skin, I find in the winter, especially when it becomes very, you know, when you go uh, harsh winter and then you go into forced air heating, I find especially like a certain area, I get very flaky. There need more ceramides in that area. So ceramides really are something that is essential for healthy skin, helps you, um, Keep your skin moist and healthy and dewy, okay? Helps with skin integrity, with the lipid barrier, helps with reducing transepidermal water loss, but also your skin will shout it out loud and clear when you don't have ceramides. And you will see it in flaky skin, sensitive skin, you know, a skin that's very reactive, skin that's very delicate, okay? So that's why ceramides are really important to know about them and to utilize them properly. We have a ceramide serum. Now, there are a few ingredients out there and a few companies that use the same blend that we do. CeraVe is one, Isomers is another one that I know of. We use a ceramide blend. We've been using this blend for decades um, because it is the right way of putting ceramides on the skin 
to help with that skin barrier function, okay? And to help the skin nice and calm and look good. Ceramides could be added at any part of your skincare routine, usually before, so after cleansing, it's either in your treatment phase or your moisturizing phase. You can add the ceramide to your cream. You can use it separately and put a cream on top. That's ideally how you would utilize your ceramide. And ceramides could be used all over, around the eyes, on the face, neck, decollete. So you don't have to worry about being you know, fussy with it. It's very friendly ingredient. It's a very good ingredient to utilize. Um, I think that's it. I think we've covered everything there is to know about ceramides. It's their important importance, what to look for, why you need it. Um, if you have any more questions or you're curious to know more about ceramides, do, you know, send us the questions and comments. Um, we're here for you, for your skincare routines, for your needs. We like to think of ourselves as personal trainers for your skin. Um, we really enjoy helping people with their skincare, uh, empowering you with the right information about the ingredients and what's happening with your skin so you can make great choices for yourself. I hope you've enjoyed this video on ceramides and we look forward to seeing you soon.